KDF. KDF. Asante ni sana. Hamjambo. Let me say what a special day today is as we celebrate and appreciate our soldiers for their courage, honor, and commitment to duty. These three words, duty, courage, and honor, perfectly describe those uniformed men and women who serve this nation. They do their duty in exemplary fashion and perform their roles with impeccable honor and whenever this nation has called upon them, they have answered the call and courageously defended us both home and abroad. It is therefore, ladies and gentlemen, my distinct honor and privilege to join you today as we observe this 10th anniversary of the Kenya Defense Forces Day. The KDF Day is observed annually to recognize and to celebrate our defense forces, and in particular, to remember and honor all our KDF men and women, heroes and heroines who have paid a price, and sometimes the ultimate price, in defense of our country, our freedoms, and our way of life. Ladies and gentlemen, as a proud Commander-in-Chief, and indeed on behalf of a grateful nation, I shall never tire of appreciating you for your commitment, resilience, excellence, and sacrifices. On this continent and beyond, you are a point of pride and a role model for other militaries. You are both inside and beyond our borders celebrated for your professionalism and your diligence. As was the case with those in whose footsteps you follow, our forces have contributed to global peace, stability, and sustainable development. While deployed in various capacities in international and regional assignments, under both the United Nations as well as the African Union. Through that service, as peacekeepers and protectors of the most vulnerable, you have brought pride to our nation and to our flag. Ladies and gentlemen, the theme of this year's KDF Day is enhancing KDF mission readiness for national security and development in a complex threat environment. Our troops actively continue to undertake counterterrorism operations within and beyond our borders in the face of emerging security threats. It is noteworthy that terrorist activities and border incursions by non-state actors have significantly reduced thanks to the actions of KDF, as well as our other security agencies operating under the multi-agency framework. In the face of this dynamic operating environment, characterized by asymmetrical threats, my administration is committed to continuously enhancing Kenya's military deter deterrent capabilities. The military equipment recently acquired will enhance our operational capabilities for the Kenya Defense Forces. Furthermore, the recent installation of the Kenya Navy Base Manda will significantly improve maritime security in addition, the establishment of the Kenya Shipyards Limited at the Kenya Navy Base Mutongwe, as well as the Kisumu Shipyard, will improve our naval capabilities, while at the same time, 
contributing to our blue economy. Even as we take those and other steps, we also appreciate that regional and global peace and security is a task that calls for many hands to work together. We shall continue to collaborate and engage with our regional, continental, and global partners in furtherance of Kenya's vision of a peaceful, secure, and prosperous world for all. It is, however, important to underscore that to achieve that vision requires not just action by governments and militaries, but also local communities, as well as individual citizens. I therefore call on all Kenyans to be vigilant and to cooperate with our security agencies in furtherance of our common goal of a more secure Kenya. Ladies and gentlemen, my administration has established a broad spectrum of welfare services catering to KDF personnel and their families. Notably, we have established regional, are, are establishing regional health facilities in Nairobi, the one I have just opened, Isiolo, which I shall be opening soon, as well as Eldoret, which is also coming up, and elsewhere, offering supportive health services to our forces and their dependents. We are also in the process of upgrading Forces Memorial to a level five, as well as the development of a new level six hospital in Kabete. The government will also extend affordable housing under the Big Four agenda to our soldiers, and I intend to break ground later this year on the first of these projects. So ladies and gentlemen, in concluding my remarks, I would like to thank the families of our defense forces for their unwavering support that they have given our troops as they continue to undertake their core and tough mandate. To those who have lost dear ones, I wish to assure you that their sacrifice was not in vain. We will celebrate them today and every day as heroes of peace and development because of their valor, commitment to duty, and sacrifice. Kenya is a nation made better, more secure, more peaceful, and more prosperous. These men and women and you, their colleagues, truly embody the very best of our nation and what it means to be a Kenyan. The weight of preserving the territory of this great republic is vested in your shoulders or on your shoulders. And as you lead our nation in that endeavor, a grateful nation bows in your honor and gratitude. Now, Arudishia Asante Sana, to now Patia Wanajeshi Wetu Wote, Hongera, Napia, to Nashukuru Sana, Jami, Zahawa Wanajeshi, Kwa Vile Mewashikilia, Kwa Saidia, Nawakuwa Patia Moyo.